The construction of bridges over water is an awe-inspiring feat of engineering that has been perfected over centuries. From ancient wooden structures to modern-day suspension bridges, these structures have enabled us to cross rivers, bays, and oceans with ease. Before we get started, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the first to see our latest videos. Building a bridge over water is a complex process that requires careful planning, expert engineering, and precise construction techniques. The first step in building a bridge is to conduct a thorough survey of the site to determine the best location and type of bridge to build. Once the location is selected, engineers begin the design process. They consider a variety of factors such as the type of traffic that will use the bridge, the environmental conditions of the site, and the materials available for construction. One of the most challenging aspects of building a bridge over water is ensuring that the bridge can withstand the forces of nature. Strong winds, rough waters, and even earthquakes can cause significant damage to a bridge. Therefore, engineers must design the bridge to withstand these forces by incorporating features such as flexible joints and shock absorbers. The construction of a bridge over water is a monumental task that requires a skilled workforce and heavy machinery. Workers use cranes, barges, and other heavy equipment to lift and place each piece of the bridge into position. In some cases, the bridge may be built off-site and then transported to the construction site via water. This was the case with the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco, which was constructed in pieces in New Jersey and then shipped to the construction site. The story of the Brooklyn Bridge is another remarkable tale of bridge construction. Completed in 1883, it was the longest suspension bridge in the world at the time. It was also one of the most challenging construction projects of its time, with workers facing many dangers during its construction. One of the most significant challenges of building the Brooklyn Bridge was creating a stable foundation in the bedrock below the water. Workers used a pneumatic kaisen, which is a large watertight box, to create a dry working environment below the waterline. The workers descended into the kaisen through an airlock and worked in compressed air conditions, which caused many to suffer from decompression sickness, also known as the bends. Despite these challenges, the Brooklyn Bridge was completed on time and has remained a New York City landmark for over a century. Building a bridge over water is not just about constructing a functional structure, it's also about creating a work of art. Bridges such as the Sydney Harbour Bridge and the Tower Bridge in London are not just functional structures but also iconic landmarks that have become symbols of their cities. One of the most significant advancements in bridge construction in recent years has been the use of prefabricated bridge elements and systems, PBES. PBES are pre-made bridge components that can be manufactured off-site and then assembled quickly on the construction site. PBES are used in many bridge projects, including the construction of the new NY Bridge over the Hudson River. The use of PBES reduced the construction time of the bridge by several years and resulted in a safer and more efficient construction process. In conclusion, building a bridge over water is a remarkable feat of engineering that requires careful planning, precise construction techniques, and a skilled workforce. From ancient wooden structures to modern-day suspension bridges, these structures have allowed us to cross rivers, bays, and oceans with ease. The future of bridge construction is bright, with new technologies and techniques being developed every day. That's it, we've reached the end of the video. If you made it this far, you're one of the best people out there. Before you go, make sure to give us a like to let us know you enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions that pop into your head in the middle of the night, feel free to leave them in the comments below so we can answer them for you.